for the Queen's Vars with a mile and three quarters ahead of them. Chess piece in the raw blue, ridden forward with a short run into the first turn. And Frankie goes handy aboard Gregory the red cap, applies a bit of pressure for the early lead with the Grey St George on the inner and Etna Rosso in the blue and white rounding out the leading quartet as they swing right-handed. Circle of five with the scarlet sleeves just sits a couple of lengths off the pace in turn followed out wide by Adrianus as they begin the steady downhill run towards Swindy Bottom. Think first in orange jacket settles towards midfield had to be briefly checked back off heels and then peaking opera run more in the dark blue racing ahead of sumo sam in the yellow and blue a further length and a half to steven siegel in a white jacket a similar margin away to st vincent's garden in the dark blue and white who races on the inner of bateman's bay uh, nurberg ring in the dark green and white meanwhile disputes last place with Undawi. might just spot the orange star on the cap for uh, david prober they've completed half a mile in the queen's vase and Frankie's got to the rail and got to the front aboard Gregory, but he's closely accompanied by Andrea Atzani aboard Hadrianus. They race now two lengths clear to Etna Rosso, the white cap, disputing third place with Chess Piece, who in turn is slipstreamed by the Grey St. George, and alongside he's Circle of Fire. And then think first in orange jacket, upsides peaking opera as they approach halfway. Steven Siegel in the white race is on the outer of Sumo Sam. St. Vincent's Garden is further back in the field with Bateman's Bay as they now begin the steady ascent towards the final three quarters of a mile and Darwin and Nürburgring continue towards the rear end of the field. So Frankie controlling the fractions here as they head towards the six marker. Still Hadrianus in the black and white is a close second. Chess piece under James Doyle in the raw blue against the running rail tracking the leading pair. Then Eitner Rosso to the grey St George peaking opera no move yet. Dark blue jacket for uh, Ryan Moore about four maybe five lengths off the lead as they head towards the last four and a half furlongs on the home turn in the Queen's Vars. Gregory Hadrianus still the leading duo to chess piece Etna Rosso, then St George Circle of Fire, followed through by Think First Peking Opera, Stephen Siegel is next, Bateman's Bay in a light blue jacket out wide to Sumo Sam, then Andawi, St Vincent's Garden and Nurburg Ring with the last one into the straight as they pass the three on the crown of the bend and it's Gregory in front, Frankie now just beginning to nudge away, Adrianus turned on in in second, chess piece in the raw blue looking for a way through, away to the right, Circle of Fire with the scarlet sleeves asked for his effort, then Etna Rosso, the Grey St George up the inner, they've got a furlong and a half to go and it's still Frankie in front on Gregory, St George the Grey though is coming out after him back in third, chess piece and then circle of fire, 150 yards to go, Frankie driving away on Gregory, still pestering St George, Gregory finding plenty under the Dettori drive, Frankie's farewell at Royal Ascot and it's winner number 78 at the Royal Meeting for the Italian, Gregory beats St George Close for third between Chespi's circle of fire. Set. And they're off for the Gold Cup. Two and a half miles. And through the very early stages, Subjectivist in the bright green jacket is one of the first ones to show. Together with Emily Dickinson in the dark blue. And over toward the running rail, that is Lone Eagle, who also has a prominent role early. They're being followed through by Broom towards the outside in the grey and white check. The dark blue sleeves and cap with the noseband is Cold Train. Against the running rail in the red is Wise Eagle. Then the nose-banded head of Nate the Great. To his inside is the mare, Echoes in Rain. Another length away to Eldar Eldorov in the yellow and black stripes. Courage Monami is towards the inside of Eldar Eldorov. Second to last is Big Call. And sitting chilly at the back of the field is Yabir, fully 10 to 12 lengths behind the leader. And that leader is the winner from two years ago, Subjectivist, who shows the way up the home straight the first time and leads by a length and a half to Lone Eagle, who's racing in second. Then Emily Dickinson back in third, Broom is in fourth, Wise Eagle next to the inside of Coltrane. Echoes in rain, the green and red silks, together with Nate the Great, the orange cap. Courage Monami is racing alongside Eldar Eldorov. Big call is second to last in Yabir as the bat marker, and they have a circuit to go in the Gold Cup. They're being led by Subjectivist. 
He leads by two lengths. Lone Eagle racing in second. They've developed a bit of a gap on the others now. Probably about four lengths in to Emily Dickinson, who's racing back in third. Broom is in fourth as they begin to head down the side of the course. Wise Eagle is behind Broom and racing back in fifth place. Coltrane is next. Behind Coltrane is Echoes in Rain. Then Nate the Great and Eldar Eldarov, followed by Courage Mon Ami. Big Call is second to last and Yabir is still the bat marker inside the final mile and three furlongs and it's subjectivist he goes along out in front he leads by the best part of two and a half lengths to lone eagle who's racing in second emily dickinson she's back in third then came broom in fourth from wise eagle only a half a length that away to cold train behind cold train to the inside echoes in rain then nate the great and courage one of me from elder elder often big call is still second to last year beer is the bat marker right over on the far side of the Track. They're about to go inside the final nine furlongs, and it's Subjectivist who still gallops along out in front. He leads the way from Lone Eagle in second, Emily Dickinson in a share for third with stable companion Broom. Then came Wise Eagle racing to the inside of Coltrane. Those are the next two. Echoes in rain still pitched up against the inside running rail in front of Nate the Great, Courage Monami, and Eldar Eldarov. Big call still at the back there with the beer as they now begin to head towards the final three parts of a mile and as they do so it is subjectivist who still has the front running roll in front by a good two and a half lengths at this stage to lone eagle in second emily dickinson is back in third then a further one length away to broom in fourth wise eagle is handily positioned in fifth behind wise eagle then is cold train behind cold train is courage mon ami and then came nate the great and eldar elder is trying to make some ground now echoes in rain towards the inside of him and then Courage Mon Ami, big call and no move yet from Yabir. The field begin to stack up as they make their way inside the final half a mile. Subjectivist with Lone Eagle very much on his quarters now to the outside. Pushed along in third is Emily Dickinson. Coltrane is in fourth now. Nate the Great's under pressure. Wise Eagle is losing ground and they're about to turn towards home. And it's Lone Eagle who's come through to pick it up under Ross Ryan. Subjectivist now under pressure. Coltrane with a nose pad. Every chance and Emily Dickinson. Echoes in rain in the green, trying to get going. Courage Monami is also staying on, looking to angle between rivals as Coltrane has now gone on from Lone Eagle. Here comes Frankie on Courage Monami, though, building up a big looking effort. They go inside the last now. Courage Monami draws on turns with Coltrane. Courage Monami and Coltrane will battle out the Gold Cup. Coltrane coming back for more on the inside. Courage Monami, though, under Frankie, just proving the stronger on the run for the line. And Courage Monami under Frankie has won the Gold Cup. From Coltrane, then Subjectivist, and Emily Dickinson clear from Nate the Great. Then your beer echoes in rain and Eldar Eldarov. And they're off in the Albany Stakes of 2023. A good start made by Pretty Crystal. Matrika over on the far side, the near side, passionately with Persian Dream. And most of them going towards the far side. Flachinello is fairly handy. Do it with Stahl is in behind with Carla's Way. The orange and black on the inside of that is Gushing Gold. They are then followed by Porter Fortuna. The pink armlets on the black sleeves, tracked by Comat and Orange Cap and the red hat of Mapmaker. Towards the near side, shaken along is Sarah Khan. A soprano is in the center. The light blue colors. Persian Dreamer. Jabara is following those as they head down towards halfway. Dawn Charger is very, very prominent indeed. They're now running down towards the two. Dawn Charger, Matrika. Carla's wager shifting slightly to the right. Navassa Island, the extreme left, looking to come into contention. Porter Fortuna making some ground as the field now have a furlong and a half to go in the Albany. Matrika is sent on here from Dawn Charger. Then Porter Fortuna. Carla's way with work to do. Persian Dreamer, Jabara the near side, Porter Fortuna and Frankie finishing very strongly and getting to Matrika. And Porter Fortuna has taken over here, half a furlong to go. Frankie in front, Matrika is rallying. It's 80 winners and counting a Royal Ascot for Frankie. Porter Fortuna wins the Albany to Matrika and then Soprano in third position.
They're off. The straight mile ahead of them for the Sandringham Stakes. Rich, Polly, Pot, Novus and Jackio in a pink jacket get out well towards the near side with Schwarz here in the yellow also showing speed. Uh, towards the near side, Novus is now tracking the leaders with in behind Coppice the pink cap and then Copy Artist and Mabel Artiste in the black and white unless in the maroon and blue and Candle of Hope with the scarlet sleeves tracks them towards the stand side, the right hand group as they head towards towards the end of the third furlong. Over on the far side, the left-hand group being led by Faniska with the white cap. Right up amongst them over there is Youngest in a yellow jacket. And then Bella Fina with Chelsea Green second from the right in that group and further right to Clown Macken. Eximius and Zoe Innocent are also in that group with Bridestones and Celsa Bieler and Magical Sunset as they go through halfway in the Sandringham. So two distinct groups, far side group, left-hand group just have a narrow advantage. but. Out on the right, Polly Pot in the pale colours is moving up with Schwarzia. Novus, Rich in a red jacket, is bang there with Mabel Artiste. Candle of Hope is still in the leading line. In behind, Jackie O'Pink with a blue cap. Frankie the pink cap trying to find a way through on Coppice as they move down inside the last quarter mile. So Coppice now finding a bit of daylight has come bursting through on the stand side to take over from Candle of Hope. Breeze in a green jacket is also picking up down the stand side. It's Frankie and front inside the furlong on Coppice. Breeze Green Jacket challenging hard. Balalaika is also running on. Frankie nudging away. Coppice in front. Frankie on fire on his farewell. Coppice wins the Sandringham from Breeze and Balalaika. Followed home by Unless and they were a little way clear of Candle of Hope on the far side. Lady Alara and Magical Sunset did best of those.